um, see here where it says prune so what's happening is is it's it's canceling it's basically um, destroying the connection to router 2 and it's saying hey look for the return traffic for the multicast group instead of going through router 2 go through uh, router 1 and that's what we're seeing here so our outgoing interface here we're seeing it forward it to fast ethernet zero zero okay so that multicast track was being forwarded to you know our destination here which is you know uh, this guy down here 192.168.34.4 that's the guy who uh, joined the multicast session So again, we're learning it via serial one zero. We're seeing it inbound to router three, that multicast stream. Okay, we're pruning it via serial one one, our connection to router two. Because if you look at the routing table again, you see here that our best path to one nine two one six eight ten dot zero is via one one zero. So that's basically how RPF works. Uh, if we were to go to router one now, what we should see on router one is that it's pruning its uh, serial interface to router two, which would be, um, let's see, serial one zero should be pruned on router one and it should be forwarding on serial one one and it should be, uh, the multicast stream should be inbound on its fast Ethernet 00, zero interface. So if we go to router router one, um, we show IP M route. You can see that the traffic has been flushed from the M routing table. So if we do a uh, again on router zero, if we start that traffic again, just generate some traffic to 224.1.1.1. Now if I do a show IP M route now. What we see is, again, what I said we would see here, we're seeing the incoming multicast traffic on fast unit at zero, zero. Then we're seeing the outgoing interfaces here, serial one, zero, it's pruning, okay? And that's our connection, again, that's our connection to router two, because that is not the best path through the network. And then we're seeing here serial one, one slash one, it's forwarding on. So, the RPF in this case fails for serial one zero, and it passes for serial one one, because that's the best path. So if we do, again, if we do a show IP route, you know, we can see here, that the best path the best path is through serial one one is where we're forwarding out serial one one. So again router two it doesn't need to partake in this multicast session because it doesn't have any local interfaces on it that uh, are configured to join our multicast group. Nerd. So <laughs> that was my wife calling me a nerd, but when I buy her a, a big diamond ring, I'm pretty sure all that'll change. So anyway. Um, that's uh, PIM dense mode multicast, and that's just a look at you know the basic how to get it up and running on the routers, how to verify your PIM neighbors, how to uh, look at the uh, reverse path forwarding, um, and how the RPF check uses the unicast uh, routing table, you know, uh, to determine 
you know, if it if the check fails or not, if you know, if the uh, packet coming inbound has you know the correct uh, IP address, you know, and it sees that, and it sees that. Uh, it determines which interface it would use to go in the reverse direction toward the source IP. And that basically just compares that with the interface on which the packet was received. And if they match, then it accepts the packet and forwards it. Otherwise, it drops the packet. So. So that's it. That's the. Uh, uh, multicast uh, lab one uh, basic basic configuration of uh, PIM dense mode. Actually, I thought I was done. I'm just going to do one more thing here. I just want to show you this command: show IP RPF, and then the IP address. Uh, what this is going to show you here is the reverse path forwarding interface for the specified IP address, uh, the RPF neighbor. And the uh, you know the subnet and the subnet mask and you know the RPF type. So you can use this in troubleshooting to make sure that your uh, you know your multicast uh, uh, your you know your your tree is up. You know your basically your whole path is good. Um, so. Again, if we go into you know router one to do a show IP RPF, um, we can just check like uh, if I do R one, if I do show IP RPF, and then one nine two one six eight, you know ten dot one hundred, you know we should see in here RPF information should be a fast Ethernet interface, which it is. That's where we're learning it. It's directly connected. So if we go to router four and do a show IP RPF mm -hmm. the same. One nine two one six eight ten now hundred. Which is the source of the multicast traffic. You can see here command is kinda slow. Um, you can see here, RPF interface is fast zero zero. Uh, it's got the neighbor again and the mask, the unicast, you know, RPF type. It's learning that uh, via you know our, our EIGRP process, which is uh, EIGRP one. So we can do a show IPM route. Well, it's timed out, of course. But if we go back here. Generate the traffic again. You can see here. You can see that source again. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to show you guys in this video. Uh, maybe next we'll do uh, PIM sparse mode in the next video. Uh, I'm not sure what direction I'm going to go yet, but I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and, uh, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye.